Here we are at GoDaddy and I have been using GoDaddy for years to register my domain names and this is the place that I strongly suggest everyone else do it. I will leave a link below this video on the website that will lead you to this website. Now let's talk about your domain name. The best domain names for free website traffic are .coms. The next best would be a .net but at all costs make sure you get a .com. If your name isn't available get yournameonline.com or workwithyourname.com but just do your best to get a .com. I've built over 200 websites so just for the sake of showing you how this is done in this training I'm going to register a .ca. And you can choose by clicking here. And it is available. GoDaddy is going to suggest that you register all of these other ones with it to save money. That is not necessary. Just get your one.com and click add. Now you can click continue to check out and they will continue to keep trying to sell you things here. Continue. They are offering web hosting. To be honest there are better places to host than GoDaddy. So just keep clicking continue and if you're new to GoDaddy you fill this out and you get yourself an account here and anyone that does have an account also has an affiliate ID just as a tip for you if you already have an account with GoDaddy enter your username and your password and log in and here's another tip never give your usernames or passwords out on the internet someone will hack your account for sure so what I'm going to do right now is enter my username and password and log in and meet you on the inside Here I am logged into my GoDaddy account. Now right here it gives you the option of how many years you want to register this domain name. Now I highly suggest again you never get it for just one year. And if that's all you can afford is 10 bucks that's better than not getting it at all. But the thing is affiliate marketers come along and they will register a domain name for one year and then they will turn it over and sell it really quick. The search engines don't like this. They will see you as more of a serious marketer if you register for at least two years. Now they give us the option to round up for charity. It would add three cents onto this order. Let's do that. And pick your charity. And check out. Now here they would give you the option of paying with a credit card or paying with PayPal. I'm choosing PayPal. Place my order. And I just bought johnjarvis.ca. Now the next thing that you want to do is go to your account and you want to transfer your DNS, your domain name servers, over to whoever is going to host your website for you. So I go to my account. I go to my domains. I find the one I just bought. I click on launch. Scroll down. And I click manage name servers. This has changed since the last time I did this, three or four weeks ago. Right here you're going to see the DNS of GoDaddy. What I want to do here is custom and add name server. Now I have my own name server account so I would go ns1.sakuraproject.co and ns2.sakuraproject.co and I add name server and I click save. Now, depending on the circumstances, this could take up to 48 hours to happen, but normally with GoDaddy, it's just a few minutes. Let's refresh this page. There we are. See how these changed? Okay, that's it for this video. In the next part, I'm going to come back and we're going to get our own professional email account. And we're going to upload WordPress to our web hosting account.
I'll see you then.